Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Subanse la suburban. It's been all over the news and social media that Earl, aka DMX, had an overdose and had a heart attack. Um, and is not in good condition. I, I hope it's not true, man. Even though me and X didn't leave in really good talking terms, me and him, you know, had a small little fallout. I, I hope that it's not true. I hope he makes it. I hope that, you know, he sees this and he knows that he's loved and respected by many, many people. And um, this is. You know, these drug overdoses, these, these, these conditions that you have to battle with substance abuse is, people don't understand, I don't think sometimes how hard it is for, for people to actually clean up. And, you know, there's, there's people that use and stop and they're able to stop and then that, that's it. And there's people that have been in and out of rehab their whole lives and just can't can't get it right I mean I lived it and I seen it with my own eyes with with X and you know I think his last little incident was in 2016 but when we were here in Phoenix me and him both on on that same page was was not good it was you know just pure destruction I was watching a video a couple of months ago where it was DMX and Snoop Dogg and they went live and they were battling and the views were you know going like crazy and that, that's just to show you that he still can bring in uh, a big crowd that he still can bring in people still love his music still respect them and you know let me tell you something about X man for one he was the cornerstone of pretty much the whole Rough Rider label you know what I mean? Like, X was X. There'll never be nobody like him. There'll be, there'll, there'll be nobody that sounds like him. There'll just never be a real motherfucker like him because he's a type that didn't really care about material shit. He's the only person I ever met that had money and didn't care about it. He cared more about like small things that he never got to have as a kid, like going to the hobby shop and buying little motor cars and buying little 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 Hot Wheels and having like the collection of everything because you didn't have that as a kid, it wasn't given to you. So, you know, now that you're an adult, you don't know how to express that, that emotion, you know, of being able to satisfy that joy of a kid that you never had. He was, he's a good dude. He's a good dude, he's a real dude. I tried to contact him when I got out. I tried to send a message to you know different people and I don't know if he's, he's still mad at me or, or, or what, but you know, X, if you see this man, I love you bro. You, you are family and I hope that you make it through and, and I'm gonna be praying for you and yeah dog, I'm here.